All right, so this is attempt number three on my first episode of uh, my depression vlog. Um, my stories and uh, uh, reasons, you know, trying to figure out why I get depressed. Um, yeah, so if, first of all, if you're watching this, thank you, um, it means a lot, um, to be able to share this, share my stories and stuff with you, um, so I guess the first thing to go over is why, uh, how I got, er, uh, when this all started, um, and I don't exactly remember when I was diagnosed with depression, um, just, uh, uh I think I was like nine or ten, and, uh, I was prescribed like any other kid, uh, with a number of medications, um, and it wasn't just for depression. Uh, it was for my ADHD, my ADD, my ODD, um, just, you know, and I hated the way all those medications made me feel. Um, so I just, I remember when I was 14, um, I told my mom I wasn't taking my medication anymore, um, that I would rather feel depressed than the way that my medication made me feel. And so it's been 14 years since I stopped taking my medication and things, it gets rough, you know, it, uh, it gets rough like today. Um, today I just woke up and I felt depressed, you know, um, and it happens a lot. Um, I mean, I'd wake up every morning wanting to kill myself, and I'm never going to do it. I don't have the guts. Um, but, you know, sometimes it feels like it wouldn't be a bad alternative. You know, um, but it's not going to happen. So, um... That's where this little vlog series is coming from. Um, this is a way for me to talk about my feelings about depression and share stories about what triggered depression attacks. And yeah, so um, I mean, in general, generalizing it, uh, it uh be a number of different things. Um, uh, where I'm at in my life. You know, that, that could be a definite big one. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm making strides. I'm in college. I'm in a college room right now. I'm in my personal editing bay. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a broadcast major. Um, but you would have talked to me two years ago, three years ago. I wouldn't have expected myself to be here. I'd still be slaving away at a fast food joint or at my current job, which I'm still slaving away at. But, um, you know, you would have talked to me a few years ago. I wouldn't be here. Um, I mean, it was, it's been a tough road, but I mean, I'm here. I'm working on bettering myself. But what makes me depressed about it is. I could have been done with all this if I would have paid attention in school. You know, I didn't take high school seriously. You know? Um, and that's on me. It's, um, I didn't like doing homework. You know? I'd rather sit and enjoy my time with the friends I did have. You know? I don't know. Um, so that, that could be one of the things. You know, it could also be uh, 
of relationships. I moved down here in 2007 with my parents. And I mean, I've had plenty of girlfriends since then. None, none have really stuck. Um, that could be attributed to my choice in women. I mean, if you're an ex-girlfriend, I'm sorry. Um, I mean, it's safe for a few, two or three. I've been cheated on by every girl that I've dated, except for those two or three. So, that definitely puts a hamper on on your uh, self-esteem. You know, triggers depression. You know, I'm 28. I should be starting a family by now, you know? Um, so that, that could be another reason. Um, or it's just you wake up like today and, you know, you feel like shit. You know, um, you don't know what triggers it. And that's most cases with me. Um, yeah. It, it's most cases. Um, it can be any little thing that I won't even notice. It's just all of a sudden, bam, depressed and I feel like nothing's going right and I don't even want to deal with anything. And it puts a hamper on my social life. And yes, I say social life, even though, you know, like, I'm a DJ on the weekends. I host karaoke events with my friend Rob. Um, I mean, I have plenty of friends that I see every weekend. But when those same friends are like, hey, you want to do something today during the week? Um, like, no, it's, uh, I'd rather stay home and play video games or watch YouTube and just be by myself because I don't want to bring anyone else down. Um, so, I mean, you know, Fridays are good for me because I can, I can let loose. And, you know, um, entertain people. I mean, which is what I want to do. I love entertaining people. Um, it's just, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I like entertaining people. It just, sometimes it gets hard to entertain people when... You have a depression attack. I mean, I've had a couple depression attacks, like in the middle of a show. Um, one of the main ones was when I was in Grettinger hosting karaoke. Um, it was Memorial Day weekend last year. Just nobody showed up. I was literally DJing for four people. Two of them were bartenders. You know, it, it, it hurt. So, um, uh, every day is, every day is always a game of chance with me. Um, and I'm going to be okay or it's, it's going to be a depressing day. So, um, today is one of those days. And, I mean, I'll probably get comments on my Facebook page or here on my YouTube page being like, cheer up. And I wish I could, but it's not the way it works. Um, and that's one of the many misconceptions about being diagnosed with clinical depression. Um, some people don't take it seriously. They're like, oh, you just need to cheer up. You can't. Uh, it's not the way my brain is wired. So I just have to endure it, and I do. And that's one of the main points of this uh, blog that I'm gonna be doing, is to, uh, to uh, give insight and share stories and everything else that comes with it. And uh, put myself out there to Hopefully uh, help with my depression. See if this works. So, 
Um, that's not all my YouTube channel is about. Um, I haven't put out any other content, but I will. Um, yeah. But, yeah. So, uh, let's see here. I'm about a minute over what I want it to be. Um, I want to keep these videos to about 10 minutes. So, um, this one's going to go a couple minutes longer. Uh, if you don't really like these videos, but you want to support these videos, um, and support my attempt on a new way to counteract my depression, um, leave me a comment, leave me a like, either on the Facebook page or here on my YouTube, uh, here on, here on the video, you know, leave me a like, leave me a comment, um, share me your stories, ask me questions, and I'll get to them. Uh, yeah. So, uh, and if you guys enjoy what I'm putting out, please subscribe. Um, I'm not trying, I'm not begging for you to subscribe, but it'll, it lets me know that I'm doing a good job. That's all I want to do is do a good job for you guys. So, um, yeah. Uh, but I guess this is the end of my first vlog. So, uh, I'll be back really soon with another one. Um, and not all these are going to be when I'm depressed. I'll, I'll put some out when I'm happy too. So, um, but um, until next time, um, I love you all. And thank you for watching. And we'll see you uh we'll see you again real soon.